We're at Paramount Studios, Sound Stage 9, for a party, a combination party, celebrating Sid Caesar's 20th year in show business and the start of a new motion picture in which he's the star. Let's go Hollywood backstage for the festivities. Now this is how you play ghost Hollywood style. First, you get a great looking ghoul, a girl, whose name is Marilyn Tyndall, former Miss California. And you get her going around in circles for producer Bill Castle, who's throwing a spook party for his first Paramount picture, The Spirit's Willing. And that's why we're here. That, and to celebrate Sid Caesar's 20th year in show business. His old friend Carl Reiner is sort of the unofficial MC. Bill Castle with John Aston, who's in the picture which stars Sid. Marie Windsor was also here. But for Sid, it's like old haunted home week with Carl, Dick Van Dyke, and much of the old gang from Caesar's Hour. Ed Begley wasn't on it, but he's just one more of the top stars like Red Buttons, who's dropped in to welcome Sid. Now, Marilyn's supposed to sort of set the mood for the party. And with a spirit like that, everybody's willing. Of course, John Aston would be at home with a cool ghoul. Paramount boss man Howard Koch, his daughter Melinda, Jody McRae, and Nanette Vanderbilt offer their best wishes to Bill. But over in the corner, these two spirited youngsters are up to no good. Nestor Pavia and George Tobias. Ditto George Montgomery and Jesse White. Sid's co-star in the picture is Vera Miles. And here's a picture for you. That's her daughter, Deborah. And you know him. That's Carl Malden. But now let's take a break from our roaming around the room and sit down and talk to a couple of live ones. Carl Reiner, Sid Caesar, and Bill Castle. Uh, Sid, what was your entree into the theater business? Well, uh, how I got in? Through the yeah, United States uh, yeah, Coast Guard. Uh, entree, I'm hungry. That's why food. We don't serve enough food here, Bill. <laughs> in the Coast Guard. Uh, I was... Um, I was saying goodbye to my then who was then my sweetheart, but uh, was now my wife. Which, by the way, I'm married 23 years. I know the lady, a tall, beautiful blonde. A beautiful lady. And if, if you're watching, I'm, I said it. Yes. I'm happily married. <laughs> and um, finally, I, you know, I was saying goodbye because I was going to go and get shipped out. And the, uh, I, the big scene where, you know, everything is the violence and everything is and goodbye, sweetheart and darling. I love you and you love me and I love you and you love me and fine. And I was shipped out. And where was I shipped out? I was shipped out to Sheepshead Bay, which now I was closer to my wife than before. <laughs> And then, after I went through my basic training, my boot training, and I went through uh, all the COTP and all that, and finally I said, well, now I'm really going to be shipped out. Said, well, that's it. Goodbye, sweetheart. So long, goodbye, so long, goodbye. Would you recreate that goodbye for us? It was... That's it, with the nose going on. <laughs> goodbye, sweetheart. <laughs> Darling mine. That's good. That's good enough, yeah. And then I shipped out to Brooklyn. <laughs> it wasn't worth all the nose quivering. <laughs> oh, yes, in Brooklyn, you can quiver. Well, where, where, where were you said? You said uh, uh, the canal was called what? It was called Guanas Canal. I thought it was Guadalcanal. I was through. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Bill, how's it going to No, just a moment. Gonna... You asked me to, uh, will you stay yeah. out of this? If you give a man a mic and you, you have to, I'm going to interview this man. But what is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little about why we're all sitting at a red tablecloth. Which you, is this in color? Yes. Oh, at a red tablecloth. in color? Yes. Why are we all sitting at this red tablecloth? We know, but we want the world to know. <laughs> to do you honor, call Reiner. No, no. come on, the truth. <laughs> it's about time you did, but you won't for a while yet. But go ahead, tell us why we're really here. Well, uh, this is a, a tribute to a great artist and a man that I have the privilege of working with starting next week. And... It's celebrating his 20th year in show business, and the turnout tonight was just unbelievably beautiful. And the speeches, and the warmth, and the affection and love that went out to Sid Caesar was just tremendous, and I, this is what this is all about. And if I may add uh, uh, a footnote, the reason it went out is because for 10 years on television, this man sent more comedy in the form of human comedy with warmth and and uh, the foibles of humanity being exposed by this gentleman. So it comes back to you sooner or later. And as somebody said today, this, let this start another Caesar cycle. I hope, Bill Castle, that's what you're doing. Hail Caesar. 
tell you. Meanwhile, back at the party, there's been some new arrivals like Jim Mitchum, Ed Burns, Doodles Weaver, and producer Bert Dunn. And here's one for you, Sonny without Cher. You don't see this very often, but she was still doing some close-up scenes on their own picture. Now, about those clothes, Sonny. Don Adams just got here, and he and Sid immediately plunged into a spirited conversation about that spirit behind. not be willing. Seriously, though, this party was intriguing. At first, you could take it for a comedian's convention with all the top comics here, but mixed in were a lot of very talented leading men like Peter Brown and other fine actors and actresses. But now it's time for introductions. Howard Koch opens the seance with Phil Castle, whose spook pictures have been consistent winners. Of course, this is something a little different, adding comedy. But with a master like Sid Caesar, how can you miss? After Carl introduced him and Sid said a few words, a very few, Dick Van Dyke came on. You know, it's remarkable how close these comedians are to each other. I bet they even have a group plan at Four's Lawn. I don't remember what he said exactly, but obviously Jackie Cooper and Doodles Weaver got a kick out of it. Jackie, as one of Hollywood's top film executives, has come a long way from his early days as a child star. And Joe Flynn's a long way from McHale's Navy. See what I mean? There's a funny man every place you look in the room. You wouldn't dare try and tell a joke in this group. I suppose you're wondering about that cake. Well, with a fellow like Sid Caesar around, somebody could wind up wearing it. That's how they play Ghost in Hollywood, or at least in Paramount, where the spirit is willing. 